Okay, so we're just going to get straight into this one. I've already removed the sealant. This trim can come away. And if we just take a look down here at what I found and what I thought. Exactly. Oh dear. A lot of cold air coming through here. Nothing's able to warm up. And it's both sides of the window frame. See down there. Cold air hitting the warm air in the home and creating condensation on the plastic. Never able to warm up. So this is what I'm going to be using to fill that gap. So this is a good all-rounder pseudal gap filling foam. So it's got good bond strength and acoustic and thermal properties. So if we just look down here. So what I'm looking for is there. Yeah. So it's perfect for thermal and acoustic insulation and eliminating drafts or thermal bridges as in cold surface yeah thermal bridge so the plastic down here is just getting cold so we need to protect the plastic and fill the gap if i was just use cork or silicon down there it would have no thermal properties, would cool down and cool the plastic again. So we've got to stop that bridge. A draft in the summer is a completely different beast in the winter. So never use cork where you see anything like that. Because you're just going to be creating problems, never going to solve it. foam is now cut back, trimmed. I can put this bit of trim back and now the outside temperatures won't be affecting this plastic because we have that thermal barrier. With the cork, any cold air hitting this, that's just going to stay at the same temperature as outside. At least with the foam, it has a chance to create that barrier. So the cork may stop a draft, but it won't be insulating. Once you get that icy blast, then this stuff will be cooling down and attracting moisture. Thank you. 